Hello there, everyone, and welcome to the Wolf of Watertown. This is Nat here, and today I'll be talking about the five must-dos before 2021 ends. Stay with me because it's going to be a good one. So number one, establish your why. Now, you need a reason for everything that you're going to do. And once you can establish your why, whatever that is to you personally, you will see that your work ethics will change significantly. It will keep you focused and on track, and it makes it harder for you to quit. You'll notice that you're working with a much greater level of intensity. And I understand, being that this is a financial page, not everyone wants to be a millionaire. But we must understand that life has its adversities, and emergencies will come up. When those emergencies do come up, you're going to need money in, over, in order to overcome them. Also, the benefits of having money is that it helps you buy time in order to do what you actually want with those who actually matter. So not, yes, money doesn't buy happiness, but it damn sure helps accommodate happiness. All right, number two, get rid of drunk. So growing up as a kid, we always did what was known as spring cleaning every season. My mom loved spring cleaning. And the idea of this is you've accumulated a lot of junk over the years, so it's time to get rid of some of that junk. Clear up your house, clear up your space, right? An empty, clear space allows you to better think, better process things, and better focus. But not only that, the holiday season's just passed, so you have a bunch of gifts that you're probably not going to use, a bunch of clothes you're probably never going to wear or touch again, clothes that probably from years back that do not fit. So all of these things need to go. And thanks to the age of technology, we have Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, Let It Go, and eBay, where you can sell these items and put some extra dollars in your pockets. Step three, figure out where you stand today. So you probably haven't in the past, but it's always good to know where you currently are. When my mom first came to the United States about 20 years ago, actually no, 30 years ago, sorry, she had a mentor, and this is what the mentor told her. Never forget where you came from, because if you forget where you came from, you'll never get where you're going. Similarly, if you don't know where you currently are now, you can't get to whatever your goals are, because you have no framework, no start point to work off of. So figure out where you currently stand. You can look at your current net worth, so think about all the assets you have, you know, write it down, look at all your liabilities, and then compare that. So on this day in 2021, this is where I stand. Or another way to look at it is look at your current budget. If you don't have a current budget, you can easily print out or go online and look at your most recent bank statement and look at how your spending habits looked. So you made this much income and you spent this much in expenses and that'll give you a fairly decent understanding or at least a framework a start point of where you are today so you know what you need to work on potentially number four this is one that gets a lot of people create a budget even millionaires follow a budget plan and yes in this instance i'm excluding celebrities and you know professional athletes, but most self-made millionaires do have a budget plan and they do follow it. And the way you can create this budget plan is first, you need to figure out where you stand to begin with, all right? And some of the keys to making a budget plan is always paying yourself first. Knowing where your money goes allows you to reflect on your habits. So as month to month goes by and you continue following this budget plan, you'll realize how some of your expenses directly reflect your habits that you have. Now, the key to also having a budget is being frugal because it's wise in the long term, but also making that wiggle room for where you can enjoy life as well. You know? So finding the perfect balance between those two is very ideal. And at some point, I plan on making a video about creating a budget plan and showing you guys exactly what I do in terms of creating a budget. 
Now, the fifth step, which is the hardest step, the hardest mental barrier for everyone to break is taking action. So knowledge is irrelevant if not put into practice. Now, this step is so hard because, you know, a lot of people are scared, don't want to take that jump of faith. They're just very timid. You know, it requires you to be disciplined and consistent, which quite frankly, let's admit it, is pretty hard, right? The consistency part of it comes as very hard to a lot of people. You know, it's easy to go to the gym and work out one day, but can you go four or five times a week over a two year, three year, four year period? That's where a lot of people have difficulty. And being that the new year is about to come up, a lot of us are gonna have new year's resolutions. So make taking charge of your financial freedom one of them. And let me know how that goes for you. Bye.